Hey Daily Habit, Amanda Champagne coming to you from legendary Venice Beach where Stacy Peralta is about to screen another one of his documentary masterpieces, Made in America. It's an investigation into the harsh realities of gang life in Southern California. Why don't we go inside and talk to the man himself? In your own words, what is Made in America? Made in America is a look at the gangs of South LA, primarily the African American gangs, the Crips and the Bloods, and it's a four decades look at a problem that's been going on for a very long time, and it's because of that history, the history of oppression and real estate, racism and all that, that led to this. Quite a switch from the action sport film to like a real inner city investigation. Did you find it to be a natural transition or was it a lot more challenging? Well, if you look at all three of my films, they're about subcultures, specifically male subcultures that you could consider outcasts. You know, I couldn't just go in and shoot somewhere. I had to build relationships everywhere I went with people. So when becoming friends with them, I began to understand this process even more. There was a funny story that we heard involving a skateboard. Yeah, we were shooting in South LA one day in a pretty rough neighborhood and some kids pulled up on skateboards and I looked at one of the kids, he was probably 11 years old, 12 years old, and I said, can I try your skateboard? And he looked at me like I was some old man or something and so I got on the board and I whipped off a bunch of 360s and then he looked at me as if I was like some Martian. <laughs> it ended up giving me a lot of credibility in the hood. <laughs> you got some street cred. Yeah. What do you hope to achieve by exposing these enclaves by putting this film out? It's too often because the newspapers and the evening news, we look at these kids and we look at them as monsters. And as long as we look at them as monsters, we can separate from them. But as soon as we look at them as a fellow human being or a fellow American, the heart connects and you feel compassion. And I hope that's what happens because we have to realize this is an American phenomena and American problem. And it was born on our soil. And we gotta fix it. Welcome back, everyone, to the Dale Habit.